Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, in this Python tutorial we're going to be going over um, a f program that I made to remove files from a subdirectory or from subdirectories and put them all into one mass file so that obviously if you have a bunch of ordered directories you can move all your files around um, and obviously then copy and paste them in one big mass rather than going into each individual directory. Um, although this gets rid of them out of the main directories, um, it doesn't get rid of the file. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, so we're going to import what we what are we going to be working with this time, which is os os.path um, shuttle time date time and that's it for now now we're going to define our function called store and we're going to pass it a path uh, we're going to go a equals uh, date dot date time sorry not date date time dot date time dot time oh, sorry dot now which is going to start off the clock once we um, get into the first function. We're then going to go files equals square brackets skipped equals zero. Uh, if a file is already in the directory, it'll skip it and won't copy and paste it over or remove it or anything, just so that um, the file isn't overwritten and lost. Like old versions aren't lost. Um, and we also want to go ahead and go if os dot path dot exists path and os dot path dot is dir os dot path dot join path and um files underscore storage that is gonna this is gonna check whether the directory already exists um, where we're storing our mass amounts of files um, print um, dir ex obviously you can change this to whatever message you want it to say but dir exists um, and else is going to be os dot make dir path file underscore storage Um, and we're going to want to copy this over three times because we're going to use uh, twice actually. Alright, now for this one we want to add um, files. And this one here we want to add index.txt. Actually, no, that's wrong. Sorry, we want to open a file here rather than doing this. F equals open. Um, and we want to go and grab this here. Except get rid of this to index.txt. Index.txt. in write mode all right and then we can go ahead and close if all right we then want to go ahead and go do print do do was created all right so that's what we have to do for that um, that's going to be checking whether our, our file exists or our directory path exists, or creating it if it doesn't, 
um, and initializing all the origin all the uh, uh, first variables. Uh, what I want to go now in open is f equals open dot os dot path dot join. Um, and here we're going to join this here, so exactly what we put inside here. I'm going to read from that file. So we're going to open it in read mode. Um, we're then going to go ahead and go files equal f dot read lines, and we're going to go f dot close. For items or item in os.walk, so this is going to walk down the file path. Um, we need to put the path in there and get every item within that file path, and it's sort of sort of its name and its path, as you will. Um, and then we want to go for file in item. because this returns a tuple of items within there uh, and then we want to check for another existing um, file uh, let's just chuck some extra lines in here so I can scroll um, <clears throat> now what we want to do is we want to go if not os.path.exists os.path.join I'm going to give it path uh, files or file storage because we want to match it with whatever we've got up here. Um, and files. And now that's going to. Oh, and then we want to pass it um, file. So what this is going to do is it's going to check whether the file that we're currently looking at exists within this file path um, and if it doesn't then what we're going to do is we're going to add them. So we're going to go files.append file um, plus a slash n I'm going to go print. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. Uh, shuttle dot copy os dot path dot join item. Zero, which I believe is the file path and file and we're gonna so this is where this is the original directory we're grabbing it from the original directory and moving it to the new directory os.path.join um, and we want to grab path file storage And then files, and we want to name it the name that it was originally. So we will pass it file again. All right, and that's the copy. Uh, now we want to go os dot remove. Obviously, if you don't want it to be deleted from the original directory, don't put this line. Um, but os dot path dot join item zero and file um, and that there is going to remove that uh, file from the original directory so there won't be say you copy over a file called hello um, 
from a subdirectory, it'll remove it from the subdirectory and leave it inside the um, the main file um, or the the new file with all the mass amounts of stuff. Um, so you'll only have one copy rather than two. Um, but if you remove that line, then you won't um, lose that first copy. All right. So else in here we want to go skip plus equals one. All right, now what we can do is we can go ahead and write to our file. So we want to go f equals open um, os.path.join path files storage uh, and index dot txt and I want to go back into write mode and and I want to go for i in files F dot right. I. F dot close once that is finished. And B equals date time dot date time dot now. We'll come back to that date time um, later on, but to finish off this video, we just want to make it so we can call this function uh, store input um, master file path of required docs. So this is going to ask you for the master file for the required documents that you have. All right, and that should do it for the uh, file path storage. Um, we're just going to quickly switch over to my testing file system to uh, show an example of this happening. Um, so hang tight for a second. All right, so as you can see, we have here. Um, some objects or some files. We have some files in here. They're all pretty much just a copy of themselves um, so that I could easily test. There's quite a lot of them. Um, but if we go ahead and run this code, um, it'll ask me for my required file path. I will go into here, copy that file path, put the file path into here. Oh, where was that? Oh, um, so I, one second. So over in here, uh, we don't need to have that there, um, but we do need to have that there, I believe. All right, let's try this again and run it again. Oop. There is an error. One second. Okay, so another thing I realized is when I was typing out these here, I had an S here, uh, so that was file storage, and these here, were currently misspelt, so I need to put an R in there, an R in there, an R in there, and it seems that I've then gone through and added a few places where it's incorrect in my code as well. So we should be fixed now and ready to go. All right, and let's try this again. Shut the 
in there. And there we have done it. You can see we have, so this one here was our dummy directory because we're an idiot and we stored, tried to store shit in there. No, there's nothing in there. We can get rid of that. Um, delete file storage. So in here you can see we've got all of our files um, and uh, we've got all of our files listed inside our index file as well. Obviously not in order, it's only in order of which where that, when they were added. So we've got weird ones being at the bottom here because they're in an alphabetical order out of order. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the console. Um, and that's currently what we're going to have for this. Um, I will carry on this video in the next, um, in another video, uh, due to the fact that the next part of what I'm doing is going to take up quite a bit of time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next video. <laughs> bye bye. All right, hello there, guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video, uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. See you.